Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably experiencing some ringing in your ears for the first time. And you might be trying to understand what to do, trying to work out whether you've got tinnitus or not, and what the next steps might be. So I wanted to make a short video to share some advice with you on what I think are some things that you can do that might help you. I'm not a doctor or a professional, but I've had tinnitus for a long time and have a lot of experience with helping people with it. So the first thing to say is that the ringing in your ears may well be temporary. Depending on how long you've had it, there is a chance that it will settle down. So if it's just been a couple of days, then I wouldn't worry too much at this stage. But even if it does settle down, I think it might be an idea to be a little bit more careful with your volumes going forward, just to avoid aggravating the situation. If you've had the ring in a certain amount of time now, and you're starting to get a bit worried about it, what I'd like to say to you is, it's not as scary as it seems. Right now, it will probably feel all new and very worrying. It might have affected your sleep and that can also make you very emotional. I totally understand that feeling and it's totally normal. But I wanna let you know that it really isn't as scary as it might seem right now. There are 750 million people in the world who are affected by tinnitus and most of them live a totally normal and happy life. But if you've had the ringing in your ears for a while now, here's some things that I think might be a good idea for you to do. So the first thing is the obvious, see an audiologist. In most countries, you'll have to go to your local GP first, and then they will refer you to an audiologist. If you can, ask your doctor if it's possible to be referred to an audiologist who specializes in tinnitus. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but if there is that option available, then it would be great. So when you get your appointment, something that I think is a really smart thing to do is to sit down and have a quick think about any questions or concerns that you might want to ask the audiologist and make a note of them on your phone. That way, when you are there at the end of the session, you can get your phone out and ask those questions. The reason why I say that is because I've had many doctor's appointments where I've had all these things that I wanted to ask about my ears and I've had lots of appointments with my eyes as well. And when you get in there, it's all new, lots of things. You've only got a short amount of time and you probably forget half the stuff you wanted to ask. So I think it's really smart to put it on your phone, get your phone out, ask for a few minutes at the end of the session and just go through those questions. So when you're at the audiologist, they would do a thorough examination of your ears just to make sure there's nothing physically wrong with them that's causing the ringing. For example, sometimes it can be just a simple thing like a buildup of wax. Once they've done that physical check to see that there's nothing physically wrong with the ears, they will obviously do a thorough hearing check just to make sure there's no significant hearing loss. What they will also do, which I think is really, really important, is give you a lot of really good advice that can help reassure you that this situation really isn't as scary as it might seem right now. So here's a couple of example questions that I would ask the audiologist if I was starting the whole journey with tinnitus again. So after they've done their physical test and the hearing test at the end of the session, I might ask them if they know a local support group, for example, that you could attend. Um, because again, this is to put your mind at ease. So perhaps actually going to a support group and talking to others with tinnitus or talking to professionals will help to put your mind at ease and make you see that it really isn't that scary. Another question that I would ask is regarding earplugs. Now that you're experiencing some ringing in your ears, I really would advise you to consider using hearing protection, especially if you like going to clubs or to concerts or cinema, stuff like that. I think hearing protection is a good idea now. So the best earplugs you can get are molded ones. These are earplugs that match the exact shape of your ear. And the reason why they're so good is because they are sort of airtight and they reduce the sound coming into your ear. The way they do this is that they put foam into your ear and then they take the foam out once it's cooled down a bit and that is your exact shape to your specific ear, both your right and your left. Then they take that shape and they mold earplugs from that. The reason why it'd be a good idea to ask the audiologist is because this is something that an audiologist does and they can advise you on if they can do it there or perhaps where else you can do it in your local area. There are lots of good earplugs that you can also buy off the shelf so I wouldn't worry too much about what particular earplug you buy, but I really do think it's an idea for you to consider protecting your ears from now on, just to allow your ears to calm down and also just so that you can feel like you can totally go about your life and not have to worry too much about your ears all the time. At the start here, at this start of this process, it might also be wise to reduce your use of earbuds and headphones. Just while you feel the situation out, and feel comfortable with your ears again. It doesn't mean that you have to stop using them, but perhaps use a little small speaker instead when you're at home and just generally keep your volumes low while you do use them. As you go forward, it's probably an idea for you to find out a little bit more about tinnitus, just like you're doing now. When you're new to tinnitus, you don't really know much about it because why would you really? 
but I think it can help just to know a little bit more information, what it is, what it isn't, just so you feel more empowered and more in control. But there's something I think is really important to say. As you do your research, try not to fall into the cycle of negativity. When you research tinnitus, you're gonna come across things that might seem a little scary. Like for example, there's no cure. When you read something like that, it can really sort of seem very worrying. The fact of the matter is there is no cure, but there's lots of different types of treatment that you can try. And there's lots of good people that are ready to help you and give you advice. So just a couple more things to say before I finish. It can sometimes help to share your story or your concerns with others. For example, the forums are really good for that because you can sort of reach out to people that have had tinnitus for a long time and they can give you some advice and just reassure you. It's also nice to just be able to talk to someone and feel less alone because that's something I really struggled with at the start. There wasn't any forums and stuff like that. So I felt really, really alone. So the forums are really good so that you don't feel that isolation because people around you probably don't have tinnitus and probably no one you know has tinnitus actually. So it's nice just to reach out on the forums and just share your story and just to feel less alone. All of this might seem a little bit upsetting and worrying to you right now, but I wanna try and reassure you that with time, it will all settle down. And the very best thing that you can do for yourself is just to carry on your life as normal. The less attention and worry that you give this, the better it is for you. You see, there's something to understand about tinnitus. Tinnitus wants your attention. And by being busy, enjoying your life, doing the things you love, even if it involves some volume, as long as you protect your ears, there's no reason you can't do all of these things. And the more you do them, the less attention you'll pay to your tinnitus. And that's exactly the best thing that you can do. So I hope this video has been useful, but more importantly, I hope it's been reassuring. I know that it can all seem a little bit worrying right now, but try and take it from someone who's had tinnitus for 22 years. It's really not as worrying as it might seem. And a lot of people have tinnitus. And like I said, they live a perfectly normal life. So there's really not that much to worry about and try and take your mind off it. Cause the more you do that, the better it is for you. I've got a website called helpmytinnitus.com where you can download my free PDF, five tips for tinnitus. I've also got a lot of other videos on this channel where I talk about different aspects of tinnitus. But for now, I want to say, try not to worry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.